Again, I'm Rose Glyther. I'm going to talk to you today about Young Living Bath Gels. Now, Young Living Bath Gels are all gluten-free, but they do have other allergens that if you have other allergens, you need to check out the ingredients. Well, I've checked out the every single ingredient for every single bath gel that Young Living has, and I have some very good information to give to you today. Now first I'm going to talk about the ingredients that are in here. Almost every one is a one on the ewg.org rating. If it's not, I'll let you know. Otherwise, if I talk about an ingredient, it is a one on the scale for the ewg.org. Now first I'm going to talk about four different bath gels because they have the same ingredients in them. The only thing that's different is the essential oils that have been added. And those are Evening Peace, which I happen to have and really, really like this one. Um, Morning Start, which I do not have. Sensation, another one that I don't have. Dragon Time, which I have used and I really liked it. And then the one that's unscented, just the regular bath gel base. And what you can do with this one is if you can use it unscented or you can add your own essential oils to it, whatever you like. And they suggest five to 15 drops of whatever essential oils you want to in this bottle. Now all the bottles are eight ounces. All the bath gels are eight ounces and they last a long time. You don't use a lot. Anyway, let's get into what they have. Now all of these that I just talked about have corn, soy, and coconut and palm ingredients. So if you're allergic to any of that stuff, then this bath gels are not for you. But the, uh, and also I like to tell you that because of the oils, changes the rating significantly amongst these. But let's go over the basic ingredients first, and then we'll go back to the oils in each individual one and how that affects the rating from the EWG.org. All right, so of course it has water, but this one has something that's called deionized water, which is even better than the purified distilled water that you can buy. Just has all the mineral ions removed. Then it has a glucoside. Now glucoside, anytime you see glucoside, and there's so many different names that can be before that word glucoside. It is basically your cleanser, your foaming agent. Okay, and this is used in a lot of natural cleansers for that very reason, because it um, you don't want that bad stuff, which I'll talk about in a little bit. It has cocoa betaine. Now, cocoa, I will talk about cocoa. It's not your chocolate. When time you see COCO, remember, it's about coconut. So this refers to a coconut oil. So it has a coconut oil, which helps to improve and thicken the texture of the gel. There's a couple more glucosides in here. Remember the glucosides are that foaming agent. So they add more than one type of ingredient for foaming agents in some of these. And one of them happens to be a cocoa glucoside, which is again, coconut oil. Then they have this glycerin. Glycerin is in this one and it's an emulsifier and it stabilizes, helps stabilize your gel. Then you'll see acids and when you ever you see acids in a ingredient, as an ingredient, it's basically like a preservative for that particular product. This one has two different acids in it and some of it even balances the formulations and also helps to fight infection. So when it gets on your skin, it gives you that bacteria fighting uh, feeling too. And then it has xanthan gum, which helps thicken. If you've ever done any cooking with uh, gluten-free flour and xanthan gum, the xanthan gum is there to help with the thickening of whatever you're doing. Then it has inulin, which helps to stop the irritation, any irritations that might help with your, on your skin. 
It has something called sodium phytate, which I thought was a little interesting because it's something that they add in a lot of these natural ingredients that helps keep your product on the shelf as it is, okay, without it spoiling, basically. So it doesn't change any color. It doesn't change anything. So that helps it. So all of those were one, each one's with one rating on the EWG.org. Now, let's talk about the essential oils that are in each one. In the evening piece, there are a lot of essential oils. This one costs $30 for an 8 ounce. These are all 8 ounces. It has coriander, bergamot, ylang ylang, blue tansy, lemon, jasmine, royal Hawaiian sandalwood, Roman chamomile, pomerosa, and geranium. This has a three on the EWG.org, and it's because of the essential oils that were added to them. Some of them are sensitive to your skin, but it is a fabulous smelling bath gel. I really like it a lot. The other ones, uh, Morning Start, is $20, so a lot less expensive. But it has lemongrass, rosemary, juniper, and peppermint, so less essential oils, and some of the essential oils that aren't as expensive. And it has a two on the EWG.org. Then we have Sensation, which has coriander, ylang ylang, bergamot, jasmine, and geranium. It's also a two. Dragon Time has um, tangerine, geranium, fennel, lavender, sage, marjoram, clary sage, coriander, bergamot, lemon, ylang ylang, jasmine, roman chamomile, palma rosa, and blue tansy. Again, a lot of oils. This one's $21.50 and the sensation was $22. This dragon time is a three on the EWG.org and it's also out of stock as well as even a piece was out of stock when I checked. And then the gel base which is the one that you can add anything you want to, is $16.75, and it's a one on the EWG. So the, the overall in bath gel is a one. It's the essential oils that's added that makes it go up because of its potential, potential sensitivity on your skin. All right, now we're going to go to the lavender bath gel, which I do not have. And this one is $19.75. And this one's a little bit different. It has uh, lavender, lemon, myrrh, and divana, and rosemary. And it's also currently out of stock. But I also think it's out of stock because I think they may be reformulating a lot of their lavender. I see a lot of the lavender stuff out of stock right now. But anyway, it, right now, if you were able to get it, it has a cleanser which is made of sodium. So it's a sodium versus a glycol. Uh, and it's coconut, too. So it has that. It has a lot more sodium in this one. Sodium helps thicken too. It also has glycerin, which we talked about. Uh, it has the acids to help with the preservatives. It has different things for stabilizers, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce them, but I'll just tell you that they're one on the EWG.org. Now it does have a um, ingredient that can be a rating of one to three on the EWG rating and that one is for foaming and cleansing. It's called Laramapropol Betaine. I don't know if I'm pronouncing these right but it is what it is. Um, and also um, it has potassium sorbate which is a two on the EWG rating and that's a mild preservative. And it also has something called, it's a seed butter. So this one helps to keep the moisture in, help be better on your skin. And it's called a murmurate. So it's a murmurate seed oil, which is a one. So this one also contains corn, soy, and coconut and palm. So that's what that one is. And I'm almost thinking that one's going to be uh, reformulated. So it has a little bit better ingredients that are a one on the EWG scale, but we will find out shortly. Next, we have the shoe trunk, which is mainly for men. It's called three-in-one, mainly for men, but anyone can use it. 
This is for $16.75. So they call it three in one because you can bath with, bathe with it, you can um, shampoo your hair with it. What's the other one? There's another one. And you cleanse your face with it. Okay, so three in one. Smells really good. It has Idaho blue spruce, ylang ylang, akatea, davana, hinoki, coriander, lemon, cedarwood, lavender, and northern lights black spruce. It is a three on the EWG scale because of the oils and uh, potential sensitivity. But it's 100% uh, plant-based, like the, all of them are. It's vegan friendly. And it has the glucosides that we talked about and the glycerin. And um, it has something that's a little bit different called oleate, which helps as a skin conditioner. Has the xanthan gum for that um, thickening agent. Let's see what's different about this one. Oh, it has a pumpkin seed extract which is not in anything else that I've found so far. And the pumpkin, they said the pumpkins contain 100 beneficial nutri nutrients that can help reverse the aging of your skin. And it has a want on the EWG. Uh, again, we have another something that's different is a nut oil that's called Ukuba butter, okay? It provides quick absorption to the skin. It helps soothe the skin. And it helps to regenerate your tissues and has healing capacity. So this one is different in one thing that's really different. It also has an aloe leaf powder, which helps to soothe your skin and restore moisture. And it has a seed extract it's called the black seed extract it helps to maintain this is basically for your hair so that this comes into your three and one so this is where the hair piece comes in for this Sutron bath three and one helps maintain healthy scalp and moisturize your scalp so this one has corn and nut this is the first one that's had nut it has no cocoa coconut but it has corn and nut and has no soy so now we're going into the kits. So that's everything for the adults. Now for the kids. The kids, we have the kids since bath gel. And this has been newly reformulated. I don't know if there's a new bottle, but this is what I had in the house for the kids. And this is going to be $17. It's like I said, it's just reformulated. Just came out, I believe it was last Wednesday. It's hypoallergenic. It's great for the skin. It's um, a two rating on the EWG. It has a scent of tangerine and lemon. And everything else, if I remember correctly, has a one. So it's the lemon and the tangerine that makes it a two. So all the other ingredients are a one. It has your glucosides, your glycerin, has some sodium in it. It also has uh, the citric acids, the different type of acids to help with the preservatives and any uh, bacteria on your skin. It has a xanthan gum. And it has um, the aloe leaf powder, like the Sutron did. It has something called bab Babasu oil. It's a non-fragrant nut oil. It smooths and softens the skin, and it's a good antioxidant for the skin. Has something also called agar, A G A R, which provides for moisture retention, which may help to reduce skin dryness. Has kiwi fruit extract in it, which is an excellent source of antioxidants, and also has cucumber fruit extract, which helps to repair dry and damaged skin and gives it a softer and soother appearance. And it also this is what I found, first one I found, it is also the pH value that's identical with the human skin. So all interesting things. So that is the bath gels. Hope you're going to find one that works for you. They're very versatile. They smell really good. They clean really good. And you know that you're doing something good for your skin and your family's skin. Bye.